a year of nothing new. It's just a few words, but imagine the concept. 2014, our edition of Year of Nothing New is coming to a close now. Yeah, green living expert Kristen Scary is here to prep us for 2015. And interestingly enough, Kristen is going to take another Year of Nothing New challenge herself mm. in 2015. Yes. So you yourself know what it takes to kind of get your, you got to kind of get your brain wrapped around this concept before you actually just go right in and do it, right? Yes. Yeah. Have yes. there been areas you've been brainstorming that you said, wait a minute, this is something I want to tackle. You feel like there's unfinished work to do? I, I think so. The, the main concern I've had lately is just what kind of uh, trash or in, in the consumption that I'm doing, you, mm -hmm. you know, making choices about, uh, in particular around plastic. So I have a, a couple of food things I'm going to try. So a lot of the food that I buy comes in plastic containers. Right. So I'm going to start making my own yogurt and my own hummus. Whoa. I will bring samples. <gasps> so those come in plastic containers. It seems like a small you know, small piece, but well, what if you recycle them? I mean, isn't I, that do, I do. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's always great to recycle, okay. and it's great to not even buy the plastic up front. So there I think my that would be my kind of my food challenge, and, okay. and then the end result being just creating a little bit less uh, less trash. So of course, any effort that someone can make is, is wonderful to create less trash. Yeah. So that'll be my two kind of efforts efforts there, and uh, always around clothing, cleaning out the closet, living <laughs> with less there. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm not stocking up, uh, just starting where I am and seeing what happens. So You've got two friends you're counseling, right, to, yes. who are going to join you in this journey. Yes. And you've, got, you've given them sort of a cheat sheet of the five things they need to know um, when it comes to their nothing new challenge. And this is, these are things that you and I could actually incorporate. Yes, Even we though could. we're not doing a, a year of nothing <laughs> new. But some of this is very, very universal. Good. I, I hope so. So the one friend I'm working with is a college student. He's going to do a whole year. Uh, the other person is doing, the other uh, high school student is doing a one-week fashion fast. So she's going to wear the same, uh, I think, six or ten items of clothing for the week. So before that, uh, there's a little bit of homework to do for yourself as well. So to know why you're That's doing what you're doing. So some okay. people do it just for the excitement or for the challenge of it. Uh -huh. uh, some people, it's a financial piece. Uh, for me, that's that's part of it. Uh, the environmental impact, so there's a couple of other reasons. So it's really important to know your why. So when it gets difficult or you can't remember why this is supposed to be fun, that you kind of can backtrack to okay. your, your, original, your original purpose. Uh, the time frame is really important. Some people can't do a whole year or even three months. So mm -hmm. to do... A, any experiment for even a week is great. Uh, the standard for a new habit is at least 21 days, so uh, trying something for at least three weeks is, is usually helpful, or sometimes a month is just easier to remember. And then writing it down also is really important, as with any goal, but to make sure that you're documenting what your time period is and, and telling a few people so that you have some, some support as well. Um, knowing what you really need, so taking stock uh, without stocking up, of course, to uh -huh. you know, get ready for the, for the year, but just starting where you are and knowing, really focusing on what you need. At the end of the day, it's food, clothing, and shelter. And then anything really beyond that is, is, a, is a want. Oh, um, come on, really you're focusing on your needs. It can it's be hard. difficult. It I is, know Jen and I were saying if we had to eschew like the clothing and the deals that we see, this is the stuff you really need to commit to. I mean, you're not going to go out there shopping for clothes when you see a great BOGO deal on, you know, your favorite item, your favorite clothing item. True. And it's very enticing. And it comes back around again. I mean, that's, that's, that can be your saving grace. I think that's sort of the feeling of panic sometimes that can yeah. come around. Like the, I'm missing out on time. Something. Yes. Yeah, or, you know, how do you feel that time? Some people go shopping just for the fun of yes. it. You know, so you have to find another activity mm -hmm. to, to fill that time. Well, that's true, too. Absolutely. Or real quickly, shopping. establishing your focus, mm -hmm. where you're uh, spending hot spots. Yes, your trouble stores or your trouble items, some mm -hmm. people's clothing or electronics, or it is food walk by or the Apple gourmet store. foods. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, just knowing what your boundaries are, so what you will allow and, and what is okay, where you might allow. I, I bought a new space heater, so that's coming in January, so I'm allowing that as a purchase. Uh, I will allow food again. And uh, just tracking that so you can celebrate the successes at the end and you'll know I saved this amount of money or uh, I changed this aspect of my life and I can actually measure that. And see the see the progress well we're going to enjoy catching up with you throughout mm -hmm. the year yes. as you begin Same. i know you focus month to month and your mm -hmm. book is out right now people who want to get it yes uh it's a wonderful guide and it, i promise you if you read this you will never look at your things in mm -hmm. your life <laughs> the same way uh -huh. think you'll look at things and they will look to you like stuff now I'm feeling guilty about what I bought over the weekend. <laughs> Jen, oh, no guilt. No guilt. Okay, all right. All right, good. All right, uh, thank at you, thank you. At com if people want to learn more. Yes. Betterteams.com. Better better okay. All right. Thank you. Kristen. Good. Thank you. Thank you
<laughs> I know. I want to learn yes. how to make that. That's a, we, we love it, we you do. and I. So, but I know it's pretty that. relatively easy to make. I'll bring All right, coming up, a grand.